Hi guys, it's John with another benchmark comparison test between the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So they both finally had the September update, so we're just going to run through the number of tests and see how they do compared to last month. Starting off with the Geekbench 6 test as normal, and then moving on to Antutu, 3D Mark, and then finish with the Browser Bench. Okay, so I'll put the average on the screen, but there's only been a small increase on the Snapdragon HN1 compared to the HN2 this month, so nothing too exciting. We'll move on to the GPU test. Okay, so there is much as no, no difference there on the GPU mark, so we'll move straight on to the Antutu. Okay then, so some nice improvements here on the Antutu benchmark here. Increase of 6.5% here on the S22 Ultra, and a small increase of 2.2% on the S23 Ultra. So we're going to move on to the stress test now and see if we get any better results than we had last month. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the NT2 stress test results. So we can see here on the S22 Ultra, looking pretty similar to last month, nothing too interesting has changed here, sticking around the sort of 65 to 70% average for the whole of the test. Cores again doing what HN1 is famous for, just going all over the place, finishing on 40 degrees, so it's pretty warm. And also the S23 Ultra has finished on 40, so they're about the same there. 5% extra battery, however, on the S23. Now if we look at the S23's performance here, we can see this is much, much better than we had last month. In fact, this is probably the best I've ever seen on the S23 Ultra, averaging about 90%, I'd say, 85 to 90% for the whole of the test here. The cores here, we can see, working all the way through, up until the last couple of minutes here, they did clock down a bit, but compared to the last few months, I'd say that's a nice improvement over the August update. So we'll let the phones cool down a bit and then we'll move to the 3D Mark test. Seen a slightly higher lowest loop on the S23 here compared to last month. Other than that though, they've both lost a tiny bit here, so nothing really too much to talk about with regards to improvements at least. The interestingly though, the S22 Ultra did stay a bit cooler than the S23 Ultra, as you can see. Other than that, they're both around the same. Okay, let's move on to the Slingshot stream now, and we'll see how they both compare here. Okay, so Slingshot stream seemed to have gone down a bit on both phones, not massively, but it's worth noting compared to last month, there was a bit of a decrease there in the scores. Let's just finish with the browser test here, and then we'll conclude the video after that. So a tiny improvement there on the S22 Ultra here, which is good to see. A bit of a loss on the S23 Ultra, but again, nothing too exciting to talk about. Okay, so that's the end of the test. We can see here both phones did pretty well, certainly in the anti d benchmark results at least. Final battery scores up here, 57% versus 62%. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.